Okay, it is 5.45 on Thursday. I have been sitting here going through this camera and its settings and on the internet watching videos and reading articles. I have gone back and forth hundreds of times over the past two weeks on what settings I should use for this camera for doing what I want to do. After all that time, I've come to the conclusion that I still have no freaking idea what I'm doing. I have gone out and shot, you know, Osprey. I even got an Eagle yesterday. Uh, myself, I've done it in my truck, sitting here, sitting at my desk, sitting downstairs, walking up and down the steps, throughout the house, walking outside, sitting in three ships, you name it. And I just, I have no idea what to do. Everything that I read sends me in a different direction and makes me choose something different and think that I should do something different. I finally got my 70 to 300 lens. <sighs> okay, here's the shortcoming. Autofocus. Yes, the autofocus is, is a hell of a lot better on the Panasonic Lumix system now than it was five years ago, six years ago. And that lens isn't the greatest lens. I have had some difficulty in getting it to come into focus. It's very difficult when you're, when you're dealing with birds that are flying all over the place and turn on a dime and, and zoom and all that kind of shit. Uh, I have to say that a lot of that's probably operator error. I know I need practice. That's what I've been doing. As far as codecs go and, and what I should be shooting with, let me tell you what, where I'm just massively confused. We have 8-bit, we've got 10-bit. I already know that 10-bit looks a hell of a lot better than 8-bit, so I'm all about 10-bit. Now, we've got 420 and we've got 422. I know 422 offers like more colors and all that kind of stuff. So if I'm stepping from 8-bit to 10-bit, it makes sense to go to 422. Frame rate, 24p, 30p. Yes, I use 60p if I'm trying to film birds and I want to slow it down. We get into another issue. When we're going with 30p, it offers completely different specs than you can get in 24. 24p, the highest I can go on MP4 is 420 10-bit at 72 megabits. If I go 30, I can go all the way up to 422 10-bit, all I, in which case it's 400 megabits per second. That means that on one of these one gigabyte or one terabyte hard drives, I go from 30 something hours to like five hours. Now, if I drop down into like a different 420 instead of 422, and I go long gop, now I go down to like 14 hours. Here's everything that's confusing. 8-bit and 10-bit, not confusing. 420, 422, not confusing. If I just go with what YouTube says, YouTube prefers MP4. So if I flick this thing to MP4, the best I can get is 420, 10-bit, long gop. There is no all I. So that means that it long gop is long group of pictures. All intra is each frame is a full frame, whereas long cop, it compresses it down, takes an average of everything, and just looks at what moves, and then gives you its interpretation of it. One is better than the other, depending on what you're shooting. It's all just overwhelming. And again, I love this kind of stuff. I love to learn about it and read about all this shit and watch videos from people who are smarter than I am, but it's so damn confusing. Now, right now, I'm shooting an MP4, 4K, 420 10-bit long gop in 29.97p. This is where we potentially have arguments with people who are screaming, 30 frames per second is stupid. You should be doing 24p. It's more cinematic. I'm not shooting cinematic videos. I'm not shooting movies. I'm shooting my shitty little log and, you know, my birding and all that kind of stuff. Let's continue the confusion. When I'm setting this camera up, like right now, I have these external hard drives and they're plugged into the USB-C and that limits me on, on my battery life and all that kind of stuff. But I do have my external uh, battery setups that I can use with the dummy battery, or I have a shit ton of batteries now. I've got two original Panasonic batteries, two Pickle something or another, and then I got two more of the um, Wasabi brand because they are a little bit bigger than the Panasonic. Now I've got chargers for home and I can put a charger in the car or I can carry one around. God knows I don't wanna do that. Or I can just use the dummy battery, but a heavier setup. What I also got, because I saw this when I was researching all this crap on, on how to set up your camera, is that 
uh, Condor Blue actually has a handle that you can put on the top of the camera. Now, when I was like heavy duty doing all this stuff in Sony and I was shooting a daily vlog, I loved having a handle on the top of my camera. It was just, it just made it so much easier. Now, the way that I had the, the truck set up, I can put this camera in there with the handle on it and it's not hitting the rear view mirror or getting in my way at all. So I looked it up and Condor Blue has a handle that you can put a blade hard drive and the blade hard drive literally slides inside the handle and then you just connect the USB-C on the front of the handle and plug it into the USB-C on your camera and boom, now you can record and you've got a handle. So I bought the handle and a one terabyte drive so that I could do that. It just makes it so much easier for me to be able to have it all set up that way and to have a decent setup with a handle on it like I used to like and have all this other stuff on there because if I have the hard drive set up here on the small brick thing that's holding the hard drive, can't put a handle on it. Or I can put it on there, but now I gotta put that on top of the handle. So now we're talking about camera, handle, hard drive, now it's getting ridiculous. So I'll have this all set up and have the option of a number of different setups that I can use to be able to, to do what I wanna do. But it still gets down to what am I gonna do? Am I just gonna do MP4 or am I gonna do MOV? This is the joy and the curse of technology. In this day and age, there is so much available to people like me that wanna go out and take pictures and wanna shoot video and wanna share that and enjoy doing that kind of stuff, that it's overwhelming. Have I stressed you out? Are you stressed? Are you anxious? Does this drive you crazy? Are you like, this guy's out of his freaking mind? Because yes, I am out of my freaking mind. And yes, it drives me crazy, but I love it. I love this shit. I love getting gear. I love dissecting it and watching tons of videos and reading tons of articles and seeing what other people are doing and trying to figure out how I can make that work for me and I have been having a damn good time with it. I have rambled on for quite long enough, and I'm sure that I have confused you as much as I am confused. So, that being said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. What do you do? What do you shoot? What frame rate do you shoot? What codec do you use? You know, what frames per second? You know, what color scheme? Blah, 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 blah. What kind of camera are you using? All that shit. I wanna hear it all. So, all right, that's it. That's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.